It's all going on. Oh it's all going on. <laughs> Hi there folks and welcome back to the IB and Andy Fishing Channel. I hope you're doing really well at IB. We are going to catch a massive pike today, aren't we? Well, I am. <laughs> so we've you. come out finally. We're going to try and do some pike fishing together on lures, aren't we? Yes. So uh, uh, this is the third time in five days that I've been out lure fishing. Unfortunately, the first day this happened. Oh, chased it right the way in. Jeez, where did he come from? Oh my goodness, decent fish as well. Drag on my reel is totally locked at the moment. God, that was absolutely unbelievable. Probably gonna have to walk down to him to net him. Oh my God, my heart is pounding. That was crazy. God, it's a strong fish. Oh, let's move downstream slightly. I might go out the I might go out the main camera. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go downstream to net this guy's flow's too strong to get him up here. Oh there goes my hook in that. I need to get that back. Might have a chance here maybe. No, nope, we're going a bit further downstream. How have you still got any energy left? There will do us. There will do us. Get in that net. Yes! Yes, yes, yes. Woo! Fantastic. God, that was incredible. What a moment. I can't believe what's just happened. After all that effort, just while I was getting the camera and stuff in position, I had the fish in the net, in the water next to me, with plenty of oxygen. and it swam out of the net. It was a really good fish as well. That might have been a meter fish. It was close. A really, really nice one. And I'm not going to be able to show it to you guys. God damn it. And then the day after, this happened. That fish, oh, he's off. God. I wonder if he'll eat it again. Just momentarily had contact with him. Oh, Andy, that's rusty, that is. That was a good take as well. Drag's nice and tight. Not really sure what went wrong there. There's a fish. There's a fish. Oh, finally. Gee, that came out of pretty much nowhere. It's only, it's only a little one. Oh, and he's off. <laughs> oh. Not been a great week for me, has it? What I'm hearing here is that you are at fishing for pike. Well, yeah, it would look that way, absolutely. Um, but we really want to do some pike fishing, don't we? We haven't done this in so long together. I got really jealous of Andy going fishing for pike, not gonna lie. I was at work and I was like, oh, I miss my bait caster, I miss the lure fishing, so let's give it a go. It's winter and when's the better time to do it? Exactly, we've come out to a venue neither of us have ever fished for pike before, have we? Yes. It's, it's a still water, neither of us have ever actually fished here, but we've got three wads. We've got, uh, actually for us, not many baits, but enough. No, enough. We've been pretty well restrained on that. And it's a case of just doing as much casting and as much fishing in as many areas as possible to try and figure this out. It's quite windy, quite bright, quite cloudy at times. It's a uh interesting conditions but i hope it works to our favor and we catch a few pike i'm dying to catch a pike i can't remember andy when was the last time i had a pike have you got a pike this year i don't think so no it's, it's november so i it's nearly I do, december i do feel really bad about it i feel embarrassed for me not to have a pike and it's literally november i do feel bad should we go and put that right think so let's go and find some fish what, what, oh. what's your tactics what are you going to do so i've started off I've, I've put two rods with me i've got a 60 gram jerk bait rod which i've put a old oh. school deviator on <laughs> and i've got my heavier rod that i've put a line through uh, albino line through trout obviously what else would i put on how about you i have my jerk bait rod with my new komodo reel mm -hmm. because that's how i roll and i have literally just a handful of lures i have some jerk baits i have some swim baits and I'm hoping to catch one Pyxis. I don't care even if it's big or small. I just want a pike. Let's go and give it a go.
I'm gonna try and learn and remember how to cast with bait caster. It's so windy. It's howling. Oh my god. It's really windy. I have a line through trout on this bad boy. I'm not sure what color it is. That's how long it's been. I can't even remember the colors. I used to be able to name it. Middle of the night. Righty, first cast of the day. I've gone for that deviator jerk bait to start with. It's so windy. I just think this hard body, nice long caster punching into this breeze should be good. I'll be honest, I don't know anything about the water at all. I, I can see how big it is. It's nice and clear. But other than that, I know nothing. So I'm going into this totally blind. I'm just thinking a nice rattly gliding jerk bait. How far wrong can you go? It's worth a go. Plus, I know IB started on a on a line through trout. I think it's important that we fish different things just while we're figuring it out. I'm not absolutely ripping this back, but I'm giving it enough of a tap for it to make some noise and it should get heard. Come on, Pike. I want you. Andy catches a pike first. I'm gonna be so angry. I might do what he's doing and just step in a little bit. Come on, pike. My fear at the moment is that as soon as I will have a take, I will do a, tr a trout strike and the fish won't stick and I will lose it. That's my fear. Okay, not picked up any weed. Start building up a picture of what this place is like as quickly as possible. Obviously stuff like picking up weed is important. I must admit there isn't a huge amount of weed up against this bank and this is definitely the windward bank so maybe this place isn't too weedy. Okay, did pick up a little bit of salad on that one. To be honest that's mostly leaf matter rather than weed which suggests that maybe there's a bit of a, a bit of a ridge or a bit of a lip that that's just come up over. Ivy's already going for a change. I reckon she's figured out that that line through trout is actually pretty tough to cast into a stiff breeze like this. So I'm gonna go for my trusty guppy junior because that thing will absolutely fly. It's weird fishing with just one pack of lures. Basically just one fanny pack. I'm doing lure fishing like I am doing fly fishing. I do need to sort my hair out first. Oh, but Andy doesn't have that problem. Right, Strike Pro, beauty. Now this looks sick in the water. It will be so good. If I don't catch a fish on this one, there's no hope of catching fish anywhere. Might as well just go home then. Okay, so change of bait. I've picked up the albino rattle trout. Uh, as much as anything, it's just going to give me the opportunity to drop a bait a little bit deeper I can start to learn a little bit more about the lake in terms of depth yeah it's a reasonable depth there I reckon there's probably eight or ten foot where I've just cast obviously this is going to fish a little bit slower and a little bit lower than that jerk bait it's just a nice change up of presentation there's that there's that ledge so I found it that time a bit of salad on that one but that's what this is about it's about learning the place figuring out where's where don't mind that too much it's a steep ledge that's for sure Spot number two. We'll try and fish the edge first. And then I will try, I think it gets deeper a little bit here. But I'm no expert. Okay, let's try and feather these out a little bit. Okay, first change of spot. That wind is ripping here. It's howling. Wow. I've gone for the gone for the jerk bait again. I'm assuming this bay is quite shallow in front of me, so I'm gonna rip that jerk bait around here. So we've got some reeds to fish to as well, so a couple of options here. Areas where there could be fish. It's always difficult when you come to a venue that you don't know for the first time. It's just about covering water. Using baits you're comfortable with, using baits you're confident with. Just trying to figure things out, there been any great pressure on us today. So when you fish a new place for the first time, you're always kind of waiting for that first take or at least the first follow, just that first bit of confidence to say, yeah, they are here. And obviously we know there are bike in here. 
but it's always just nice to see that first fish, isn't it? All that first contact reassures you. Probably going to follow the same kind of pattern as the as that first swim we fish. Just fan this out, fish the gerbait first, switch to the paddle tail. Two different presentations. Fish, there we go, there we go. We were talking about the first take of the day, and there it is. Doesn't feel like a particularly big fish. I wonder if IB could help me here. Sorry? I wonder if IB could help. Oh, you have a pie? Got a fish on. You m Do you want me to net it? Please. Hold on. Oh. Is it a good one? No, it's only small. Doesn't matter. It's a pike. I could do a pike. You could do the honours there, Ivy. Yay! <laughs> First fish of the day on the jerk, mate. Bloody that's hell. freaking cool. Ivy, that's on one of your lures as well. Well done. Thank you. Can Just actually crank. have a look how the pike looks like. <laughs> I really, I couldn't remember what they look like. Look, you are green. <laughs> Freaking white that jerk bait. That was really cool. Oh, well done. Thank you. I was just thinking the whole time I was fishing, I'm like, don't catch a fish, Andy. Don't catch it before me. And look what happens. You catch a fish before me. Sorry about me, Abby. <sighs> Should we have a look at him? Yes. Well, what a bloody relief that is. We've actually got a pike, Ivy. Quite early on in the day as well. And it didn't swim out the net. Don't get me wrong. It's probably not gonna break any records but it's been way too long and that is a little chunk what a pretty fish really happy with that nice start to the day righty little guy oh so strong oh, oh, oh he's gonna zoom he's gonna zoom off there he goes. First one of the do, new day. First one of the new day. First one of a new venue. First one of the day. That was exciting. I be. I think it's your turn to catch one now, isn't it? Yes. Get in and catch one. So first one on the board. Uh, this time went to me. Usually you catch the first fish. So actually, this is quite a nice change. Hey, what are you doing? Stop. Why did you catch a fish? Stop before being me. mean to me. But it was an accident. So you're being mean to me because you've got a fish first before me. Sorry. On my lure. On your, actually, on your lure. And it made me net it. Yeah, obviously. You, you tell you what, you're a good gilly you are. That's the irony in this. Right? <laughs> my lure, my venue. And so have you had any takes at all yet? No. What are you doing wrong? I had bottoms. I had lots of bottoms. <laughs> you, and uh, you know what? Every third or so cast, I do overspool. I've noticed you're doing a lot of like filling around around I the think, reel. I think it's because my lure is quite light when I'm casting at the moment. And I'm not stopping it in time, I'm just stopping it a, a wee bit too late. So. so perhaps we need to have a look at just in the casting break on your reel for I'm, you to I'm, make it a bit easier. I'm working on that. That wind is brutal, isn't it? It's so windy. And we, it probably doesn't sound too bad at the moment because we're hiding behind some trees. Know, if yeah. we walked another 10 metres uh, behind you guys... Your hooking mat was flying up. Yeah, I had to run after you and hook him back. Good catch. Drive me back. Get you in the slips. Thank you very much. No yeah, so exciting start. Really cool first 20 minutes. Uh, what a chunky little pie. Yeah, he was a pretty one. But I reckon there's more out there. Particularly, I reckon there's one for you. I hope so. I want a pie. You'll Why, get one. Where are you? I'm You'll missing get one. you. Come here. Go and get some, go and get some casting done. Bye. <laughs> I was supposed to catch a pike before him. I might try a darker colored lure. I don't know. I do believe in this lure though. Like it's just such a great lure. But I have a lure that I haven't used before yet. Andy bought me from uh, Ireland. So why not? Let's see. Let's try it. So it's just a different colour really, same tail again. A little twirly whirly action happening. Such a beautiful lure. Let's try it. Well, no prizes for guessing what my next plan is. 
pop a few more around this bay. I mean, just it looks like the right place to be. Windward Bay, stiff breeze. It's not mega deep. You know, it's pretty mild. It's probably 10, 11, 12 degrees today. There we go. Albino line through trout. 20 centimetre moderate sink. I wonder. Cast it with the wind first. I'll take the easy shot first. Burn it for two or three winds and stop. Burn it for two or three winds and stop. So another new spot. We'll keep it nice and mobile. Five or six minutes per spot and we'll keep moving. I'm actually going to stick with the line through trout just for the moment. Don't want to totally lean on that jerk bait. Obviously I've got it rigged upon the other rod. As and when I want it, but it'd be nice to be nice to see if we can at least draw a take on a different bait. Right, the spot's moved. Let's just hope we get a pike. Can't have Andy catching pike and me not. Otherwise he's gonna be banned for, for life coming ever with me again. Hello change. Uh, thought about because that wind has really got up. I've gone for the rainbow trout, rattle trout. Uh, that line through trout nearly landed behind me on the last cast. So I need something that I can just punch a little bit more and this I can. Jeez, it is howling. It forecast 25 mile an hour gusts. It feels a lot more than that. So nothing on the rattle trout. I've reached that jerk bait again. We'll just give this five minutes. Worth a look. I had a couple of taps on the way in. I just wonder whether it was that fish just nudging it. Come on, eat it. It's interesting that. Fished a few different baits over this area, but that jerk bait's pulled a pulled a follow. They were they were just tiny taps. I mean I'd never felt like I needed to strike any of them. It's followed it again. It's got it, it's got it. Yeah! Took it that time. Let's see if I can get this in the net before IB knows what's going on. It's not a big one, but it is another fish. IB? Yeah. Yeah, there we go. So really interesting there in that neither the rattle trout nor the line through trout drew any interest at all. And within a couple of casts on the jerk bait, again, we got a little, a little Jack Doodle. He followed it in the first time, saw me and turned away. But the second time he saw it, he couldn't say no. Again, real pretty one. He's getting a bit tense. I'm going to put him down and we'll get him straight back. Righty, buddy. Let's get you back. Oh, loads of power. So there we go, Ivy. Maybe that's it. Maybe the rattle, maybe the flash of that jerk bait is making it work. What do you reckon? I don't know. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, if I catch another fish on that, I think I'm going to put it back in your bag. So about an hour in, Ivy, and what are your thoughts so far? You're a <laughs> <laughs> That's my thoughts. Well, I'm not doing it on purpose, although I am catching these on your lure, strictly speaking. Yeah. Sorry, yes. sorry about that. I'm not having as much luck and I'm changing from my jerk baits to my line through trout. I haven't tried the burrow boat yet, but I prefer to fish the jerk bait, but then I was like, oh, well, it's really deep there. Maybe I could just fish my line through trout and then I put it on and was like, oh my God, it looks so sick. And then tank cast it and I'm like, yeah, it's shit. I need to change it again. And then I change it again and I go through the same cycle over and over again. So I don't know. So it's interesting what you said about depth there. I haven't found any great depth. Because you can't cast as far as me, obviously. <laughs> There is that actually. You've got them. You've got them biceps. I have the muscles. <laughs> but I reckon. Yeah, you know, I've only caught two little ones. I reckon the one that you're going to catch is going to be much bigger. Yeah, mine will basically eat both of yours for breakfast. That's the hope. Are you feeling positive? Yeah, oh, absolutely. Having fun. Are you enjoying absolutely. It? Yeah, yeah. Really enjoying it. Do you like my water? It's a nice fish somewhere new. It's a really cool lake. We've got pretty good conditions for it as well. I think so. All in all, it's looking pretty promising for the rest of the day, isn't it? It's not those conditions for my hair. I probably you had don't have much of a problem. Oh, it's blowing my hair around all over the place. What a pain. I might tie, I might tie it up in a minute. <sighs> what a load of, a load of rubbish. <laughs> we walked around the corner. So, casting into wind again. Maybe a little bit sideways. So far, and this too. 
my base metal. How fair is that? IB, yeah. I'm going to make a suggestion. Yeah. Let me see what you think about this. Yeah. Don't know about you, but fishing in this wind is absolutely exhausting. Yeah. Why don't we give ourselves a break for half an hour, 40 minutes, walk up to the top end where it's not windy yeah. and see if there's any fish up there. Uh, I like your suggestion. Should we go and do that? Yeah, that's fine. Right, so we've done that long walk to the top end. It's not to say there's no wind here, it's just not as windy as it was where we were. Just trying to wade out a little bit here just to get over this, over these reeds. Oh, I'm going to be close to the top of my well is there. As you can see, the, the wind here isn't as bad. There's still definitely a bit of breeze, but at least it's coming over the top of us. Oh yeah, that's a bit easier. No idea on the depth here. It appears to be a bit shallower than it was down at the bottom end. There's no doubt about it, the last hour has been a real struggle. We haven't seen a fish between us since the since the last one. It's yeah, this is hard. This is hard. Just do with seeing a fish, a little confidence booster. Here she is. You can <laughs> You catching them all? No. It's quiet, isn't it? We could do with seeing a fish really, couldn't we? Well, is it a coincidence that it's quiet since we moved this end? Well, yeah, you could be right, IB. I had crossed my mind. I wonder if maybe this was a this was a wrong call, and perhaps we need to start working back round there. Um, yeah, it, yeah. I think you're probably right. Yeah, I say this in the vlogs. I think you and I have said it before. I always prefer to fish with the wind in my face when I'm pike fishing. And uh, it is nice being able to lob a cast as far yeah. as you can, though, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. The problem is, it doesn't seem to be any fish out there. So, yeah, I think you're right. I think a couple more minutes up here and it may well be time for us to get skates on. Spot for blanking number five million. Oh, Andy. Oh my God, I actually hooked something. How is that even possible? I do think. I actually hooked something. I don't know how that's possible. You got him? I don't know. You don't such know if you've got him? Such an odd fight. I have no idea. He's like not fighting. It's like dragging a log. And then sometimes it kicks. Oh, it's a pike. It's a pike. It's a pike. <laughs> it's an Keep actual coming. pike. Keep coming. Keep coming. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> it's an actual Good pike. Good job, you! It's an actual pike! <laughs> oh my god! So I did just set off camera. Oh my, I'm getting really tired now, all this jerk bait and getting really tired. It was worth it though, wasn't it? You know it? what? As soon as I saw that the wind changed direction slightly and started blowing that way, I was like, that bay? Yeah. Surely that bay. Oh my god, I had a bike! I had a bike! <laughs> I actually had a bike! First bike of 2020. Oh, I have to say, since I hooked it and landed it, I have not stopped smiling. It's unusual for me. I don't smile usually in periods of that long. Andy can confirm that, Andy? Yeah, not, not a smiler. I'm not a smiler. But I had a bike. It doesn't matter even what size it is. It's a bike and it counts. And it's my favorite lure. Oh, you ready for this? It's going to be a monster bike way bigger than both of Andy's pikes. Come on, buddy. Such a bad size for a chinny, isn't it? There's a pike. Yeah, it's an actual pike. Gorgeous little guy. But we're gonna release him now. I'm not sure if I'm ready for this. Go on, buddy. Yes. Whew. 
I'm bleeding. I'm actually pike bleeding, which makes me so happy. I haven't pike bled in years, bloody years. You know what? I have a feeling that if we hurry up and we smash this bay where the wind is blowing in now, we might have a chance of one more. So Andy said he's going to go sit in the car because he's really tired and bored now. And I'm just going to go for it. We'll see about that. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, pike. A super happy for Ibiza. there. She's fished really hard all day for that. Hopefully that means that the the move down here is paid off and possibly there's a few more fish down here. It can't be a coincidence that we caught fish down here, walked to the top end and then found no fish. There must be something in that, so maybe we found where they are. Here's proof that I had a pike. It's the blood on my hands. It's a good job it's the hand where I have no feeling in it because it's not hurting. Right, the blood is not stopping at the moment. Yes, bike! So exciting. I will say, I was just saying to Andy off camera how the take was so gentle. So, so gentle. Literally a tap. Andy! I've eaten again. <laughs> again so in two casts. <laughs> she is first, on it. First cast. First Literally cast. next cast. Oh my god. First cast of the cast. What's going on, Ivy? Another bike. <laughs> An even smaller bike. Hey, but a bike. Oh, oh bike. Oh. <laughs> I nearly knocked him out the net for you. My finger hasn't stopped bleeding and I already have another pike. Two in two. Again, massive fish. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> I love I love how you get a straight face on that one. Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? It's not hard to keep a straight face when I'm talking facts, Andy. It's all facts. Oh, flipper. Okay, I will try it with my non-bleeding hand. There you go, another. They're so beautiful. Go on, Mike. Go on. Oh. Andy, how many pie did you have today? Two. And how long? Three hours. Okay, well I have just two in about five minutes, so how about you sort your game out while I sort my bleeding finger out? <laughs> <laughs> just repeat what you said to me then so you don't accuse me of poaching. I said, Andy, don't fish in my swim. What a load of <laughs> rubbish. I mean, just said, have a few casts in there and just gonna have a quick rest. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. The problem is, I'm, I'm totally set up for a fail here. I can't win, because if I catch a fish, I'd be able to go, well, I told you they were there. And if I don't catch anything, I'd be able to be like, what are you playing at? Why aren't you catching them? It's a sad thing now if I make loads of skates, because I didn't realise that that was how it takes out. It's funny you say that. You know, looking back, I've had a few where I was like, God, I wish I'd struck at that. Just tap. I would easily think it was just like touching the bottom. My second fish. I think I say it on the GoPro. The previous cast, it, it tapped it a couple of times, but I thought it was the bottom. There we go, there's a fish. There's a fish. I think it's another IB-sized fish. What do you mean IB-sized fish? <laughs> it's a perch. Yeah, get the net. It's a perch. Yeah! <laughs> oh! Wow! That is oh solid! <laughs> <laughs> That's unbelievable! Oh my god! <laughs> well, I did say an IB sized pike there, didn't I? <laughs> Turns out it's an IB sized perch. <laughs> <laughs> it's all going on! Oh it's all going on! <laughs> Well, that was totally unexpected. Ibi and I were just talking off camera about how subtle the takes from the pike have been, your real taps and, you know, they've just been nudging it and we think we've possibly missed a few. And then I got absolutely whacked 
by this guy on that 17 centimeter jerk bait. Don't get me wrong, it's not the biggest perch you'll ever see, but at 37 centimeters on a 17 centimeter jerk bait, that's the, that's the biggest bait I've ever caught a perch on, and it's an absolute stunner to boot. What a fish. Let's get him back. Righty chap, let's watch you go back. What a fish, proper handful of perch, totally unexpected. Get that dorsal pin up, there he goes. <laughs> what an end to the day this is, Ivy. We thought the day was pretty much done. We started to lose the light a little bit, we fished pretty hard, sometimes for not a lot of reward. And then all of a sudden you get three fish in five minutes like that and it's all worth it. IB, what is going on? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, honestly. And it's just such a crazy and epic feeling because you, everything that happened so far, and I've been, I know I've been moaning on GoPro, saying oh, I'm cold, I'm bored, I'm not going to catch anything. <laughs> that doesn't sound like you. Oi. <laughs> and then as soon as you catch a fish, like all of that goes out of the window. Like my finger is bleeding from pike. Both of my wellies are full of water. It's quite cold and uncomfortable. But like, it's epic, isn't it? It's so cool. Where else would you rather be right nowhere, now? Nowhere, absolutely nowhere. Place has just switched on. I don't know if it's the change of location or whether it's the time of day or what, but all of a sudden it's just happening, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, 100%. So I think we really need to take advantage of this, don't we? This is why we came. So we're gonna go and catch a few more fish, hopefully, fingers crossed. And we're gonna see you guys in a little bit. Hmm. Andy walked just to the other side of the, well, to the view next to the really. We want to fish this bay as quickly as possible while we still have the light, hoping for another, either one fish or two fish. It will do, but this is so cool. Right, so Ivy's taking a spot back, which I, I kind of understand. I think I'd have done the same thing. So I'm just having a bit of a walk further down towards this little bay. Maybe there's a maybe there's another fish down here for me. Let's try that. Did have a couple of casts here earlier but from the other bank. Okay, I think that's gonna be my last spot of the day. And that will be enough. Oh dear, oh dear, 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 I think that's just a sign of me being tired now. Well, I'd be going a pretty bad backlash there that we, we couldn't get out of, so we've cut her trace off and she's packed up for the day. In the time we've been trying to sort it, it's actually gone pretty dark, so I think I've got yeah, five more minutes, I've put the jerk bait back on. We'll just give it five minutes and see what happens. I, I don't know how much of what I'm saying you guys can even hear because that wind is slicing through. We are right in the teeth of it here. Pretty much back where we started. And it is ripping through. That wind is brutal now. Worth five minutes just in case. One more fish would be great. If I can get on a hot street like I beaded, who knows, we could get a couple of fish at the end. And that was that, and someone's got seriously wet feet. I know, but it doesn't <laughs> matter because I had pike. Doesn't, doesn't today totally sum up lure fishing for it does. pike? It does. Vast, vast, vast periods of absolutely nothing happening, particularly for you, and then in two casts. What do you mean in particular for me? Well, I've well, we got the same number of pike, Andy. Yeah, yeah, actually, yeah, all right. Yeah, you're probably right with that, actually. I think you get what I mean, though. Like, particularly for you, you had to wait so long, and then all of a sudden, two and two casts, like, yeah. just, you know, if, if someone had just watched those two casts, they'd go, oh, well, that looks easy. <laughs> uh, and we can assure you, it definitely wasn't. It definitely wasn't. I mean, I even said, like, um, when you were catching your fish and I was blanking and kept blanking, I kept saying, like, I feel like I'm working really hard. Like, I don't feel like I was doing anything wrong, and I was changing, and I wasn't lazy, and I was changing techniques. You know, even to the point where, I'm not used to casting and fishing with a 100 gram rod, let's put it this way. So it was, yeah, it wasn't easy and I felt like I earned those two fish. It's a bit of a change from the two weight French leader rod, isn't it? Yeah, it really is, yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. really nice to get back and do some lure fishing as well. I don't know about you, IB, I've really enjoyed today. I really enjoyed today. I think the fact that 
both of us were here and caught fish. That was really cool. Unusual, isn't it, actually, for both of us to catch fish on a lower fishing vlog? It's well, usually it's one of the unusual for you to catch fish <laughs> on a lower fishing vlog. It's, yeah, full stop, yeah. And non none of these fish swam out of the net, which is great. So I guess all that leaves us to say is, guys, thank you very much for watching the vlog. Really appreciate it. Subscribe, like the video, and we will see you guys soon. Take care, folks. Bye. Bye-bye.